In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Misubi Folio Tomoe River Notebook. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about the notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So here we have the Misubi Folio Notebook. This notebook is designed for Misubi's folio system, which are separate covers that are supposed to go over these folio notebooks. Now, when I bought this, I think at least a year ago, the folio covers were not available. On their website now, they're saying they're available sometime this year, 2021. They're still not available. So as of right now, the folio system really just consists of individual notebooks. Now, they've added to the line of folio notebooks from when I bought this. They now have a Cosmo Air Lite notebook, and they have a Mitsubishi bank paper notebook. So if you have one of those covers, you can use it with Tomoe River 52 GSM paper like this one, the bank paper, and the Cosmo Air Lite. So that's pretty cool. I like that they're doing that system. I'm going to be very curious to see what those folio covers look like. But for now, it's just the plain notebooks. And since I bought this notebook, it used to only be blank. Now they have a 7 millimeter lined version, a 5 millimeter cross grid, and also a cross grid paginated version. So I haven't seen pictures of it, but there should be numbered pages. Now, in terms of specs, these only come in A5. They have this gray book binding linen cover. You know, I don't know if this is real linen. If it is, it's definitely coated. It has a coating to it. It looks very nice. The only logo on this notebook is right here, and it's very subtle. The back has nothing on it. And so when I went to do my original paper test, because usually when I first get a notebook, I always do a paper test with various pens before I actually start using it. So when I first started using this notebook, I actually wrote in it upside down because I <laughs> didn't see the, the the logo. I had thought that that was the end of the book, but nope, that was the first page. So, oops, but very subtle logo. I do like this debossed thread logo. I think this just has to do with binding the notebook. I, I think it's a cool logo, very minimalistic. This part has Tomoe River 52 GSM paper, the white version. Masubi bought a large quantity of that old 52 GSM Tomoe River paper. For those of you that don't know, they changed the place where they manufacture it, or and maybe they're using a different machine now. But anyway, it's not quite as crinkly, and it is still very fountain pen friendly, but not quite as fountain pen friendly as the old version. So if you really love that old version, Masubi is a good place to get notebooks with that old paper. This notebook has 384 pages and you can see the signatures are tiny. There's roughly 30 there. It's a sewn binding. It's very flexible as you would expect. You know, you can just see it's very flexible. Cover is not resisting anything. The binding is very nice and because the paper is so thin you get a lot of pages in a relatively thin package. So it's quite nice. So opening it up, we have this textured paper paste down. And this is sort of, first page is actually kind of glued to this end paper here. And let me go into the, the paper test. And it, it's really, it's just blank pages. There's nothing else. We have the same textured end papers here. It's all blank pages. Now, we'll turn this around upside down. There's not really too much to, to go into here just because I've done other Tomoe River notebooks with the same paper. I've reviewed one of the Misubi handbound notebooks, which I'll put a link to up in the corner. Those are bound by hand and they are they have quite nice covers with traditional Japanese motifs. Quite a pricey notebook, but very nice. So on the face of this, everything looks really good. There's no issues, no bleeding. You get nice shading, you get sheen. It is super nice. Now on the back, we have no bleed 
from the fountain pens, a little bit from the Sharpie, a little bit from the Pilot Oil drawing pen. The Copic sketch did bleed through, as did the Stetler Lumocolor permanent marker. We did get a little bit of penetration with the Pentel Energel and the Oto Fude Ball. And yeah, both Pentel Energels, the one millimeter and the 0.5 millimeter. I'm actually seeing a little bit come through on the Secura Jelly Roll. Everything else looks pretty good. So, you know, typical Tomoe River performance. You get a lot of ghosting. You can use a black sheet, which will hide that from the other side, or a dark colored sheet. Here, I'll just as an example, use this mouse pad, but it cuts down a lot of the show through. Obviously, if it bleeds through that, there's nothing you can do about that. But by using a black page, you can eliminate a lot of the ghosting if that bothers you. Now, really nice fountain pen performance, no complaints there. I would still probably use these with the, you know, like the Pentel Energel pens and the Oto Fude ball roller balls. It bleeds a little bit, not majorly. So I think this is, you know, pretty much suitable for most normal pens. And of course it's, it's great for fountain pens. So that is it. That is the Misubi Folio Tomoe River Notebook. So what are my pros and cons for the Misubi Folio Tomoe River Notebook? The biggest pro is that they're using the old Tomoe River 52 GSM paper. Misubi bought a large supply of it, and they should be able to continue making notebooks with that paper for quite a while. So if you're wondering where can I get that old 52 GSM paper in a notebook, Misubi is a very good bet. I like the design of the cover. It's very minimalistic. I like the linen texture. It feels quite nice. I like that you have almost 400 pages and I like that it now comes ruled and with a cross grid, whereas before it was only blank. In terms of cons, the biggest con is obviously the price. This is 50 Singapore dollars, which today is roughly 37 US dollars. So very expensive. You can find similar Tomoe River notebooks with a similar amount of paper or sheets, and they're considerably less than this. So the price is definitely the biggest drawback. And that's really it. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. And until next time.